Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are doing well. We are looking at yet another footies car. This is the footies premiere. None other than Kristen Hamilton. And now she was released as an objective player. So we are going to be looking how good she is in game or how bad she is in game. But before that, we will look at what objectives we have to complete in order to get this player. And then we'll look at her stats in depth, her playstyle, playstyle, places, all that good stuff. We'll put her in a test squad and see how she actually is in game. Because right now, on paper, I am really happy with the passing and shooting and dribbling. I mean, for a 94 rated free card, I would say those are pretty good stats. Now, let us actually get into the uh, player review, which is 5 star skill move, 4 star weak foot, not bad. Now, not gonna lie, 4 and 5 foot 4, pretty short for a striker, but does it matter? I don't think it matters as long as she has 99 pace. She's, I don't need her to be winning uh, headers if I have somebody else in the team. So 5 foot 4 doesn't really bother me, you know, but some people might think like she's too short. And how many of you guys will actually be using a 94 rated striker right now? But if you have started, I'm pretty sure even if you have started like recently, you probably are at 93 or 94 rated squad right now. And this 94 rated striker will actually be better than some of the players in your team right now. You can play her at striker and center forward. Now she is going to get full camp no matter what even if she's from uh, nwsl she's not gonna lose camp she's gonna get full camp because of the premium footies uh, title and the crown on top of the card you guys see now this card let us look at the stats now she has 99 pace 91 shooting 86 passing 90 dribbling 62 defense and 89 physical these are actually pretty decent stats for a free card not gonna lie even if you guys don't use her in your team right you can always keep her as a fodder a high rated fodder 94 card you just play games and you get a 94 rated card i would say that is a big dub big big dub so you use her or you don't she's a good card to have in your club so yeah i guess it is what it is now those who are actually interested in uh, seeing how she is in game we will be doing that like in some time once we finish this whole uh, review on on paper review we'll put her in the squad and do her a bit of an in-depth player in-game review so make sure you guys stick to the end for that now 99 pace is actually pretty de pretty decent it's actually insane 99 pace is insane we'll be testing out pace shooting and dribbling in game the main three things we'll need to be testing our striker out for so shooting 86 i mean 88 short par 92 finishing and 90 long shots very very weak i would say very very weak i don't know how she's getting 91 shooting i think it's because of attacking position and uh, finishing but short par 88 is very weak she'll be getting plus four over there because of a full chem uh because i'll be using controlled uh, chemistry style so uh, it is what it is passing is pretty decent i think 93 short pass is more than enough i don't really care about the other things crossing is weak uh long pass is weak curve is weak what what place she has whip pass i mean finish shot plus but she also has a uh, weak curve okay okay interesting she has 90 dribbling with 92 ball control and 88 dribbling i think this is the first card which has been so underwhelming in the beginning itself like we have done a lot of player reviews which usually once we start playing with the player in game is when it becomes like okay this is not a great player but in the start itself except for pace she doesn't have anything I mean standing out maybe finish shot place but her shooting is weak we'll try how she is in game like she has finish shot plus she has a uh, pinched pass she has rapid plus trickster plus she has player first touch she has press proven and then she has technical plus as well pretty much everything in the ball control department she has but her dribbling is still low and weak i don't know i don't know what to make sense of it she has 88 dribbling and 92 ball control guys now since this is done let us actually look at what objectives you need to complete this is very very easy very very easy just play five games you will complete this win four games while having three players from us you will complete this you need to have two goals from outside the box easy easy complete this because we all have Rashford now. I'm pretty sure many of us will be having Rashford in the team now. And it's so easy to get goals with Rashford from outside the box. Uh, it's easy. And then score 5 goals with using players with minimum 93 uh, pace. Is it pace or is it passing? I think it is pace. Yeah, it is pace. So 93 pace. Easy. I think 5 
I think you guys can complete one, two in the same game, and then these two are just very easy. I did all those in rivals, so for me, in rivals to complete them, it's easy. I'm pretty sure you guys will easily complete it in uh, squad battles or even in drive. Now, before we move on with the video, I just want to make sure you guys know one more thing. We have 25 of these player picks, one of 481 plus. So if you guys saw the previous player pick video, which was the one of 383 plus, we got some crazy cards. Now I am waiting for team three for footies to be releasing. I don't know when this video will be going out, but once footies team three is released, I'll be recording this video. I'll be streaming live on Twitch also if you guys want to check the live stream uh, where I'm opening this live. You guys can head over to twitch.tv slash mrfrin19 or this will be posted on the YouTube channel as well guys. So make sure you guys are on the lookout for that. Hit that subscribe button. Helps out a lot. We are so close to 400 you know. It's actually crazy. It's actually crazy. This uh, YouTube channel has been doing really well this year. And I appreciate everybody who watches the videos and everybody who subscribes. Hits the like button. I really really do. I mean, she had better stats than the striker that I used and scored a bunch of goals with. Will she be good in games, guys? This is one big question that I have. I don't know. Make sure you guys stick till the end to find out my verdict on how she is gonna be. She gets plus four stat boost in most of the places. Is it gonna change how she's gonna be in game? Maybe. Maybe we'll see how it is, guys. We'll see how it is. I am playing squad battle, guys. You guys can see on the top it says squad battles. I am not gonna be, uh, you know lying about what i'm playing squad battles is the best way to review players how they are how their stats are this is a 96 rated squad so it is gonna be literally the same vibes as playing rivals just against the bot ah dribbling the dribbling is this is just now if somebody else has used this card let me know if you guys also find the dribbling weak the skill moves are good the pace is really good. The dribbling is a little bit weak. I'm not gonna lie. She's losing the ball a lot. The touches are very... The touches are very weird, you know. It's like... It's not very hard. It's not very soft. It's like... How do you say? It's like a very uncomfortable touch. Imagine you are used to playing football and then like after 3-4 years you come back to playing football. It's, it's like that. I'm not gonna lie. The skill moves are really good. 5 star skill, no, she had 4 star skill move or 5 star skill move? I actually forgot, but the skill moves are really good. Her pace is really good, it's just her dribbling is so weird, you know. Like literally, it feels like, imagine, I played football, like growing up, and then now if somebody gives me the ball, I would struggle, because it's been like 4 or five, 4 or 5 years at least since I played football. So it's gonna be weak. Now, if I was playing rivals, Will that be a goal? 100% not. It's not gonna be a goal because the way people play in rivals is very attacking minded. It's literally like watching Premier League games. It's like very attacking minded. Nobody's gonna sit back, let you, you know, do your skill moves and stuff. So I think even in game, it's not a very crazy card. You guys are literally better off going to the market and searching for a, uh, a better striker. Because the market is looking, uh, after the whole re-release thing, the market is looking really affordable, some of the players. You guys are better off going to the market and getting a different player, I'm not gonna lie. She's a good card, make sure you guys complete this card at least for like a quarter. Uh, you'll have an extra 94 rated card for free. Other than that, not really a good card, you know, I'm not a really underwhelming card. This week's objective it's like it's not great except for the pace she has nothing to show for look at that pace the pace is really good the shooting has improved with the plus four but yeah i don't think you guys should be you know using her in spot maybe give it a try play with rivals and see how it is i don't play rivals when i do player reviews mainly because i don't get games and even if I get games, it is in a different server. I am usually playing with AT ping, which is really, really painful. And the third thing is, I can't be free trying to do skill moves, trying to do random dribbles. Because in rivals, people just come at you and you can't really test how this Like, you can't be doing this. You can do this, but you'll probably get counter-attacked and you will concede a goal. Here, I can at least, you know, 
tell you guys whether you should do all those things or not but i think we're going to conclude the player review here we've not played for a long time i don't think even 45 minutes we played yeah we played for like 37 minutes of in game time so yeah as i was telling before my laptop decided to crash on me we played we what we played like 36 minutes of in game time with her with hamilton now i would say she has really good pace and she has really good uh, weak foot and skill moves she has pretty decent shot on her depending on what chemistry style you use because her shooting will increase her shooting will increase now dribbling i don't know i mean it's up to you guys now because i'm giving my verdict now this is my opinion it's not like it's not like this is just because i said this that is how the card is going to be that's how the card is labeled this is what i think this is what i feel according to how i play so don't take it too seriously whatever i say it's just my view you guys have a bunch of player uh youtubers doing reviews you can go check everybody's videos and see how they feel about uh, this particular player if they have done a player review on her so yeah make sure you guys complete it the objective 94 rated card for free you are getting so it's a good fodder as well if you guys want to have like a secondary striker who was very pacey you guys i think are better off going for a different striker because you're getting above young in the season ladder you're getting anju fatty and rashford so anju fatty or rashford can be used as strikers as well both of them can be used as strikers or uh, you can use you can use Aubameyang as your main striker and use Rashi as your secondary striker and keep Anzu Fati for left wing this is insane guys this season pass for footies is actually insane so you don't have to use players like the low rated players like this so I would say complete the objective don't use her just keep her in the squad wait for like CR7 SBC or Messi SBC and then just complete the SBCs with these high rated objective cards so yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. I hope next video is the 81 plus player pick. I'll see you guys then. Until then, take care, stay safe, stay motivated and keep smiling guys. Make sure you guys check out the channel as well. Bye-bye.